Let's see. Let's see if I can get rid of these. Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleka. I'm just sitting outside the Christchurch Chinese Embassy Consulate. Ah, it's a house. <laughs> it's like an old house. I've turned into an office. You, I'm not going to film in there, but you walk into the conservatory and then you're in the living room and that's the office. I've previously made a video on how to get a Z visa, the New Zealand process, so I'll link that in the description box below. Basically there's a couple of differences. So I've got my passport, now you have to fill it in online instead of putting it on paper, but you still have to print the paper. So I have this giant wad of paper. <laughs> It's so strange, because like, we have an online system. <laughs> I know it's not great to be critical, but we have an online system. It's on our computers, but we need you to print it out and bring it with you. And then we're gonna look at it, and make little circles on the paper, which looks exactly the same as what it is online. <laughs> but we're gonna look at the paper first. It's very important you print the paper. Also now you have to make an appointment which maybe for bigger embassies would be really useful. There's nobody here. It's, I don't know, half past nine in the morning. Oh, and the other problem is, so the, you, it used to be that the embassy you could, it's half past nine in the morning. The appointment time is between nine and 10. So I'm like, ee, I'm at least here. It's just across the road. I will run in very shortly and get my paper checked. So for those of you that are also doing it here in Christchurch, the website is not updated. This is actually my second time trying to submit these papers because the website says you need a medical check. It says that you needed to bring the handwritten one as well. That turns out not to be a thing. Apparently you need a photo of yourself. Why? Because you've already uploaded a photo on the online ones. My suggestion would be if you're watching this and you haven't started the process, call up and double check. I only double check because I just didn't want to be bothered going through the medical check if I didn't have to because uh, other people that work at the place where I'm going to, they didn't have to and that's what prompted me to go, do I have to? It says on the website you do, but in reality you do not. A copy of your vaccine certificate. I just got the one off. Oh, for New Zealand it's a bit weird. They have like a domestic one and a travel one. I don't know why it's not the same thing. Oh, so print out that letter. Then also all the junk that your company sends you. And a photocopy of your passport. <laughs> the company needs you know, to see your criminal record check. So I've already done that. In New Zealand, it's free forwarded onto the Department of Internal Affairs and then came here to the embassy to get their little stamp on it. Because I've worked in China before, I just use my same degree stamp that I have got the last time. I just still have that lying around at home. And that's good because it saves saves time and money going to get that. Then the company is able to get your bits and pieces together. And for some reason the system looks like it's broken because you can only submit between 9 and 10 in the morning. But it's open until like half past 11 so I don't know what the issue is with that. But when I came the first time, I didn't have to wait. Like, this one, I'm like, why is there even an appointment system? There's nobody here. <laughs> and I get it, because there's no tourists at the moment. Let's see if I can get rid of these this time. I'm sure there'll be something else wrong. I mean, um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm holding this. This has taken so long to get. So it costs $140 for the actual visa. It is much simpler than the last time that I did this. So there's no doctors, anything. But now I need to plan what time I'm going to get the blood test and the COVID test. At this very moment, I don't even know where offers that and how much that's going to be. Yay, I finally have my third Z visa. Oh my goodness. And I guess because for so long it hasn't felt real so that, that I can legitimately be sitting here going, this is real. I'm really holding it. It's really stuck inside my passport now. I guess I have to go.